Hi, I'm Lila Jana. I'm the founder and CEO of Samasource, which is a nonprofit that connects very low income people to work through the internet. So, my advice to young people is to start with a real problem. Um, in our case, we're working on global poverty, which is, I think, the biggest moral crisis of our time. My advice to you, if you're passionate about ending global poverty and all of the many problems that stem from it, I really advise you to think about how you can get cash into the hands of poor people directly, not through trickle down economics, um, not by handing out free goods and services to poor people, but by empowering them to lift themselves up um, by getting jobs and, and the dignity and income that come with them. I got into this uh, because I worked in Africa when I was 17 as an English teacher in rural Ghana. I realized that my students were so bright and they didn't need handouts. They didn't want charity. They want work and opportunity, just like you and I want. The only solution to global poverty is dignified work. Fundraising is so hard. Uh, I'm actually an introvert. Even though I have to give speeches and talk to people all the time, I find it really uh, uncomfortable. So my, my main piece of advice is to think about fundraising and media work and kind of everything you do as relationship building. So ultimately, you're trying to connect with the people who could potentially support your work. You're not trying to sell them or pitch them. You're trying to forge a friendship with them. And if you can see them as potential guides, um, advisors, mentors, friends, the money, I, I think, tends to come most often after that initial connection has been made. And especially when you're not coming from a place of desperation, but a place of calm confidence, you will come across as more genuine and less pitchy. Um, and I think pitching, even though it's so tempting to do that when you're desperate for funding, can have the adverse effect of making someone less likely to support your work.